Hello everyone, this is Roy and welcome to another brand new video on this channel. Last week I made this DIY Bluetooth speaker and if you haven't watched this video, link is in the description below. And I compared it with JBL. On that video, Manthan comment there, really liked your video and quickly subscribed after watching your videos. But you should speak in your videos. Yeah, now I'm speaking uh, in my video. My English is little bit bad, maybe too, maybe too much bad. So I picked this book, maybe it helped. I don't know you should speak in your videos because music and text doesn't help that much and i don't think your accent is bad thanks mantan for your comment i really appreciate that then obinash also commented yes bro do it please as soon as possible so in this video i'm going to explain you step by step how you can build a speaker like this at your home so guys let's do it together in this project i am going to use this board which i bought from banggood.com it cost me near about six and a half dollar and it has a remote in it uh, there is another version which doesn't have any remote remote uh, bluetooth audio receiver module it has a usb in you can plug your pen drive and play music from here sd card and front is this is the power input this is a 3.5 mm audio out microphone some button like mode play next equalizer etc and here is the rear sensor for remote control this is bluetooth antenna and here you need to solder your fm antenna if you want to listen fm last month i made a review video on couple of bluetooth audio receiver so if you want to check this video please uh, tap on this eye icon here next i'm going to use this 3 yacht audio amplifier board and we're going to amplify the audio out of this bluetooth audio receiver board using this amplifier board and then we're going to solder the left and right speaker here This white wire is right, so solder here. Green is left, and yellow is ground. This one is five volt positive pin, and this one is five volt ground pin. Right speaker positive, right speaker ground left speaker negative and this left speaker positive now we are going to power up both of this board to power it up i am going to use lithium ion battery uh, this is a sony 18500 battery but you can use a mobile battery too charging this lithium ion battery we are going to use this tp4056 lithium ion charging circuit you can use any lithium ion battery with this circuit I'm using double battery but you can use a single battery if you use multiple battery it increases the battery backup Next I'm going to solder this battery positive and battery negative from this TP5014 lithium ion charging circuit with this battery positive and battery negative. Next I'm going to use this DPDT switch as a power switch. You can directly power this board using a micro USB power cable and put the micro USB in cable inside this female micro USB port. But there is another way you can power up this board is that you can directly solder the 5 volt input here. This is the positive 5 volt and this is the negative 5 volt and this same pin is on the back so I'm going to solder on the back here. Here you need to address a FM antenna or a cable as an antenna if you want to tune your local FM station. Okay, I am going to solder this cable here. I am going to use this Redmi Note 2 box as a casing for the speaker.
Now let's fit all of these inside this cardboard. This is the out of TP4056 with the my charge controller and this one is the power for this amplifier as well as this Bluetooth receiver and we're going to solder them together. <laughs> 